Hi everyone, I want to do a quick video on how to wash your horse brushes. So I have a variety of brushes that I use every day um, to brush the horses and as you can see the dust is coming off of this. There's, this is a stiff brush, we use it to knock mud off, but um, you know this at some point isn't going to get a horse very clean. This body brush, same thing cover the dust. You guys can see that. So, before you go to wash them, it's kind of a good idea to brush the extra hair off of them so that the bristles are mostly, mostly cleaned off. My favorite curry comb gets a lot of hair stuck in there. You may have to use a tail brush or something to get the loose hair out. And if you have a nice bucket and some Dawn, I like using Dawn because it lifts grease and oil off of the brushes. So, I don't know, a teaspoon, a tablespoon, depending on the size of your bucket. You want to fill your bucket with hot water. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our brushes and put them in the water. So I'm going to take these brushes and put them bristle side down in the water. I may rub them together a little bit, but then I want to let them soak. I can do that with my curry comb. I can do that with all these brushes. And we're going to go ahead and let them soak for a bit to loosen up um, any dirt and build up on the um, on them. So we'll let them soak here and we'll come back in a few minutes. Alright, once they've soaked for a bit, I'm going to pour the soapy water out. in the sink, you can see that it was very brown dirt. And then I'm fortunate enough to have warm running water in the barn. So I'm going to rinse the brushes out. Take some of the water out. And then fill the bucket up again and let let them soak again for another few minutes to get the soap off of the bristles. It's important to soak them and let the soap get off the bristles because if you get that build up, you're just going to end up brushing dry flaky bits of soap onto your horse and that doesn't do any good. Alright, we'll just let them sit for a couple minutes and then we'll come back and rinse again. I don't know if you can see this very well, but the water looks fairly clean, so that tells me I got most of the dirt out of the brushes. So now that I know they're clean, I'm going to just take the brushes and wash this to help remove some of the excess water. quite get all the hair out so I will take a hoof pick or something and try to pick some of that hair out. Okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the brushes out to dry. Uh, today's not a very nice day it's a little overcast and it's threatening to rain so I'm gonna dry the brushes in the barn aisle. I'm gonna take the brushes that I just washed, shake the water out, and then I'm gonna put them bristle side down on the towel. Same thing with this one. Shake it out, bristle side down, shake, bristle side down. So now I have all of my brushes bristle side down on a towel where they can dry. And one thing I want to show you is these brushes that have wooden backs. Okay, you can see this one looks pretty mangled. 
And the reason this looks so awful, it was left to soak in a bucket of water for too long, which the water has worn the shellac protection. You can see it's peeling off here. It sort of disintegrated that. And then another thing that happens is the wood stays wet at the base of the bristles and it weakens the integrity of the, the bristles. So you wanna try to let your brushes dry this way. Sometimes in the sun, I'll turn them on their side like that point them into the sun, but still the water is allowing, is dry, dripping out this way, so you'll get the back of the brush done. This is an example of another brush from being soaked and not dried properly. The leather fatigued and came off the back. You can see the shellac is peeled off. Um, the bristles are still in good shape, but these, you know, oval wood brushes, they're really nice brushes. They're soft horse hair, really nice finishing brushes but they get ruined if people don't take care of them. So really important not to soak the backs and to make sure they dry with their bristles down, such as I've done with that one here. So here are the brushes I've washed uh, sitting out here in the barn aisle on tack trunk drying. May take a little bit because it's kind of cool out. So if you have a heated tack room or an area where you can put your brushes to dry where it's a little warmer, they'll dry faster. As luck would have it, the sun came out, so we moved the brushes outside so they're in the sun. So they should be nice and dry and ready to use tomorrow. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.